good morning. If you're uh, about to take an afternoon nap, I just wanted to show you guys a few scientific or natural Instagram posts. Using my favorite truth seeker of all time, Mr. Friedrich Nietzsche. Just a tap on. Don't worry, I won't talk about it much. I never realized Instagram actually had so much science. I thought it was just a bunch of social media BS, but there's actually some really good accounts. So, without further ado, let's take a look at some of my favorite posts. This one here. Well, these are all going to be like, wow, I'm crazy, but my mind boggling. This one's actually going to be um, pretty interesting. NVIDIA has laid claim building the single fastest computer humanity has yet created. They did this by linking up 16 of its Volta-generated Tesla V100 graphics cards in a fashion that lets them operate as a singular unit. So the NVIDIA's NV switch interconnect technology interconnects technology that facilitates it has two petaflops of computing power. Brilliant. Here's an interesting one where the effect that various drugs have on the web building abilities of the common garden spider. See LSD, there's a strong structure and not really, not really much of uh, the in integral steps. Speed is kind of a lot, quite a bit done, but uh, with a huge gap missing from the part that it didn't do. Um, <laughs> marijuana looks just really uh, just looks like a, there's a lot of corners cut. Caffeine is probably the craziest, which is, damn, what does that say about our society? That is the least, maybe, maybe, maybe it was trying to build, create a whole new uh, design for the web, and then the normal web looks quite normal, I guess, just not quite complete. Damn, that caffeine looks like straight erratic behavior. So, someone says, researchers tried to change the circadian nature of web making. Their timing remained the same, but their website became bizarre. Is that a literal use of the word website? Um, this is cool that, you know, we've always heard about a Planet X now demoted to Planet Nine without the existence of Pluto as a planet. And they think that if this is our solar system, this little guy down here, 
there might be a highly eccentric planet 9 or an extreme orbit. Nearly all objects in the solar system lie roughly on the same plane. The new object, 2015 BP519, has an orbital tilt 54 degrees above the plane of the solar system. And astronomers cannot explain the puzzling orbit of twenty fifteen B nineteen PP five nineteen without making reference to planet nine, a hypothetical planet with a mass ten times that of Earth. Here a black hole's other horizon. Past the event horizon, a black hole's point of no return lies the Cauchy horizon. This second horizon has given mathematicians headaches for decades. So we see here There's a there's an event horizon. Let's see. I think that's the horizon at which light can no longer pass. It's uh, the space time is so warped that light is not it can't possibly travel fast enough to exit the curved nature of that space time in that local area. So the Cauchy horizon, Einstein's equations appear to give many different possible answers beyond the Cauchy horizon, which would suggest that the universe is fundamentally unpredictable. Um, the second space here is the strong cosmic censorship conjecture that says space-time just simply stops past this Cauchy horizon, which absolves Einstein's equations of having to describe the world beyond. And here, weak like light-like singularity. So new research is suggesting that time does exist beyond the horizon, but it isn't smooth enough to use the Einstein equations. Wow. Nuclear physicists have found that the protons building blocks, the quarks, are subjected to a pressure of a hundred decillion pascal near the center of the proton, which is about ten times greater than the pressure in the heart. This I like because it's true and verifi verifiably so, visibly, very visibly true. Can you guys believe that this actual monitor I'm looking at is literally just red, blue, and green pixels. <laughs> and, uh, just very various, varying, varying degrees of, uh, dimming. So white would be all the pixels lit up, black would be all of them off. And, uh, it's just the very, really it just comes down to, uh, the ratio of how much red, blue, or green proportionally exists, and how light they are, how bright they are. And that makes, to our eyes, all these colors. That's so crazy. 
here. Superconductivity is a phenomenon exactly zero with exactly zero electrical resistance and expulsion of magnetic flux fields occurring in certain materials called super superconductors when cooled below a characteristic critical temperature. Levitation is possible during the superconducting state. Persistent electric current flows on the surface of the superconductor, acting to exclude the magnetic field of the magnet. This current effectively forms an electromagnet so crazy. Yeah, it's bizarre that um, heat causes a block to electrical current. So the cooler something is, the less likely or the more likely current is to flow. Russian mathematician Grigory Perelman declined the million dollar prize for winning the Fields Medal for his proof of the Poincaré conjecture. Later he stated that I know how to control the universe, so why would I run for a million? Numbers of the form N any number times the square root of negative one are imaginary, but can still be used in equations. Okay. And e to the power of pi times square root of negative one is negative one. This is just a cool picture of a magnetic field. These are iron particles. And the magnetic field goes out, or no, sorry, goes out, around, and up. And it runs through the center. It's really bizarre when you think about it, but picture really isn't that overall impressive, I guess. Let's see what else we got. Alright, so. Nerd Fuel had a couple good ones. Let's see this guy. Let's see. Here we have. I like it science because uh, it is science. Maybe scientific view, view of life at least. That uh, you look at other people, you look at evidence of other people's lives to uh, form your hypothesis and rebut it or re-fortify it as to how to live life like this guy so Jim Carrey is worth 150 million dollars now it's funny that that's the ultimate uh, indicator of a person's value is literally money but um, nonetheless it's impressive and inspiring that he worked night shifts at a factory, worked as a janitor, lived in a van, fought dyslexia. It's cool. <laughs> These are all the different likelihoods of a shark attack compared to Other common and uncommon causes of death. Shark attack is one in three point seven million. Heart disease, cancer, influenza, accidental poisoning. Wow. Falling. Drowning. 
firearm discharge, air travel, hornet wasp, death from hornet's thing, wow. This is cool. Yeah, because I'm going for more facts, less mythology, less pseudoscience. Most of the smoke billowing up from the space shuttle launch is uh, actually not exhaust. It's water vapor from the pool of water under the space shuttle designed to absorb the acoustic shock. The waves from that that could otherwise tear the shuttle apart. Nipsey Hussle there, Michaela Peterson, me, we got PJ and GB, Jordan Peterson, Neil deGrasse Tyson, he's got some good ones, but let's see what else, let's search. Nice, that's what I like to... This is a lot more up my alley right here. Clearly did a lot of research for this episode. In 1916, Einstein predicts the existence of gravitational waves based on his general theory of relativity. In 2016, scientists... Scientists announced that they have detected gravitational waves caused by colliding black holes for the first time. So just like on Earth, it snows on Mars during the winters. The North Pole and South Pole of Mars see snowfalls of water and ice and dry ice, respectively. Also, Mars has four seasons, if you guys knew that. Pluto has blue skies, spinning moons, mountains as high as the Rockies, and a heart-shaped glacier the size of Texas and Oklahoma. Huh. NASA has two satellites chasing each other around Earth, tracking the distance between themselves to measure gravitational anomalies. Their nicknames are Tom and Jerry. One of the exoplanets is really large. It's Jupiter right there. Damn, this is really good. NASA astronaut Scott Kelly captured this amazing photograph of the Moon, Venus, Jupiter, and Earth coming into near alignment. Wow. Nice. Nice hollowed out glacier in Alaska. Wow, all the different rejected designs for the Eiffel Tower. We all need love. Right. Yeah, that's pretty cool that there are uh, 
Sure, they're water molecules, but sure, they're not water. Sure, it's more like ice. But uh, nonetheless, there is a water reservoir floating in space that is equivalent to 140 trillion times all the water in the world's ocean. The Silurian hypothesis says an advanced civilization could have ruled Earth millions of years ago. There may be tens of thousands of black holes in the center of the Milky Way. Now, um, I need to... I was going to, uh, I literally have a salt shaker over there because I was going to do an episode like this, shaking salt, but it just didn't, it didn't, it didn't really sound that good for ASMR. Um, maybe I'll put it in a different container next time, but, uh, I was going to say all these facts should be taken with a grain of salt. A German graffiti artist painted 200 50 square meter bridge a a 250 square meter bridge yeah that's cool NASA will send an apparatus known as cold atom laboratory to the ISS that will use a combination of lasers and magnets to chill and slow a cloud of atoms to just one-tenth of a billion of a degree above absolute zero, which is the lowest temperature where even the atoms stop moving. Motioning. Is, is that a scientific word? Motioning. I don't even know what to say about those. This is cool because it indicates the tilt. Both the tilt of our Earth and the orbit around. I guess I could do that. And the orbit around our sun. So, it's going to look like that. And I know this visualization is really helping you get the point. But I really, I actually do like that picture. It's really cool. Sorry about that. So I guess this is just an increase. There is Sagittarius A. Wow, that's actually really cool. I like that one. I like that we get more perspectives on our Earth. Here, Hubble breaks cosmic distance record. Astronomers have discovered a galaxy which existed 400 million years after the Big Bang 